welcome to another video beyond the soul i hope you like my previous video if you like it subscribe my channel and give your thumbs up i make this video for you guys so you can watch and enjoy and i really appreciate your advice ready throughout the year yeah let's start oh okay i'm recording i concentrate jody tell me if you feel anything in particular about any of these objects See anything I did? Thank you, Dad. It's so pretty. Open it. Jody, you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Did you see something? I saw a little girl. It was her music box. Laura. Yeah. Nathan? Okay, I'll tell him. Nathan, someone named Ryan Clayton is here to see you. He says you know what it's about. Yes. I'll be back in a moment. Do you know this guy who's come to see Nathan? No idea. Hasn't Nathan been... I don't know, just... like, acting kind of strange lately? He's trying to raise money for the lab at the moment. Maybe he's worried about it. You know how he is. I hope we don't finish too late. I have tons of homework to do. You know, Nathan's always complaining when I get bad grades. But he's always keeping me here when I should be studying. <laughs> That's a discussion you'll have to have with him, Princess. Do you think he'll be long? <laughs> Relax, Princess. He'll be back in a minute. I'm so hungry. When do we get a break? Yeah, I'm hungry too. We need to get Nathan out of here for once. Somewhere fancy. I'm sick of cafeteria food. Hey, where are you going? Aren't you gonna wait for Nathan? Never get around to telling her I need more time. No. There's a doctor. She needs to go. Hey, I, I have my orders. She's a little child. She's not. She's a little bit lucky up until now. I see your side. Alright, I do. I'm working. What's, what's going on, Nathan? You, you look upset. Jody, this is Ryan Clayton from the CIA. The agents, 
The agency wants you to join their military school program at Camp Perry. Ryan's going to take care of you from now on. You have to go with him, Jody. Today. I don't understand. Why me? This unit belongs to the CIA. They've been tracking your case ever since you arrived. They know what you and Aiden can do. I am not a child. I can make my own decisions. No one can force me to go. Hey, Jody, I know. It's difficult, but you need to understand this is a great opportunity for you. Oh, so that's just it? You know what's best, and I'm, I'm just supposed to shut up and obey orders? Jesus, listen up, Miss Holmes. I don't give a shit about your pathetic adolescent pouting, all right? You can rant and rave all you want, but you'll shut your mouth and do as you're told. Jody. Jody, stop immediately. Go get my things. <laughs> Only the essentials. We've got everything you need at Camp Perry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Princess. I'll come and see you as soon as I can. I'll never let you down. You know that, don't you? I'll always be there for you. Time to go. Yeah? Jody. Hey, it's, it's Ryan. Ryan! I was just wondering if you got my email. What, what, wait, what, what email? The one I sent three days ago. You know, I've, I've actually been having problems with my computer. What, what, what was the email about? Dinner, tonight, fancy restaurant. <laughs> anyway, it, it's too late now, so... Maybe another time? Shit. Shit, I'm so sorry. I... You, no, why, why don't you just come over here for dinner tonight? I mean, you wanted to see my apartment anyway, so... Uh, sure, but I... How about around eight? Just... Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring a kick-ass bottle of wine. See you later. Now I get why you blasted my computer. You didn't want me to see Ryan. It's not your call, Aiden. I can do what I want. Fuck this. Fuck this! We're not gonna start this again! I'm not yours, Aiden. I can have a relationship with whoever I want. This is my life. Do you fucking hear me? This is my life. You know what? I happen to think Ryan is great. He's charming, he's intelligent, he's funny. And I think I'm falling for him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm aware of what happened at the bar. 
fuck you for reminding me. Ryan is not like that. Okay. Okay. It's seven o'clock. I have an hour to make dinner, tidy up, and make myself look good. The trash can in the kitchen. I gotta find something I can make in one hour with what's ever left in the fridge. Asian beef, oh. I mean, that looks good. It's not too complicated. Curried chicken with oven-baked vegetables. It'll take some time in the oven, but it seems doable. Pizza delivery. I mean, it's not exactly gourmet, but it, it, no preparation, no mess, I mean, it could be an option. Come on. It's time to decide, girl. Yeah, chicken curry with a little down-home flavor. I mean, he's gonna love that. I mean, as long as I don't fuck it up. You know, you're wasting your time, Aiden. You're not gonna stop me from seeing Ryan. All right, books. Okay, on the bookshelf. Okay, great. clothes in the basket in the bathroom. All right, there.
Crap, he's early. I've got to change. What should I wear? Oh, here I am. Yeah, whatever, I just like threw these old things on cause yeah, I'm cool. I'm cool. Is it not enough effort? Oh, hello, Ryan. Oh, do you like it? Classic, elegant, je ne sais quoi. I don't want to give them the wrong idea. Oh. Oh, hi, Ryan. I've been waiting for you. I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna be me. I mean, there's no point in me throwing myself at the guy. You might as well just give up, Aiden. Okay? This date is going on. Period. Coming! Oh, good one, Aiden. Okay, you got me. Now, open the door. Open up! I don't want to use decisions around. You want to play games? I can play too. Thanks, Aiden.
So far, so good. Take an oven dish. Hurry or we'll have nothing to eat. Ginger. It's supposed to be an aphrodisiac. I mean, it's not in the recipe, but... Can't hurt. I mean, I need all the help I can get. Oven we go. Yeah, that's very funny, Aiden. Wow, it's very romantic. <laughs> Don't be a pain in the ass. I didn't behave yourself. This is important to me and I'm counting on you. I... <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, Chateau Margot, 2001. The guy in the store said it was a pretty good year. That sounds good to me. So. Okay. Sorry about the mess. I mean, I just moved in, so it's... No, no problem. Looks lived in. Why don't you sit? Um, I'll get the, um, the thing that opens the wine. <laughs> cool apartment. Huh? Yeah, thanks. I didn't. For fuck's sakes. You want me to open it? No, no, I'll do it. <laughs> to your new apartment. To my new apartment. <laughs> Wow, so when did you move in? Um, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, the agency found it for me, and all furnished and everything, which is actually the first place I've ever had, just by myself. So it's weird getting used to the idea of it. <laughs> and how about you? Where Where do you live? Oh, I uh, have a place just outside of town. Small, but a garden that's pretty quiet. Did you, did you grow up here? No, no, I was born in Oregon. I moved out when I was 16. 16? Oh. Did you get kicked out? How did you end up joining the CIA? I went through college, not really knowing what I wanted to do. Uh, tried the army. You know, for the action, travel, adventure. <laughs> long enough to realize that wasn't for me. <laughs> and when a CIA agent recruiter approached me, I, I jumped at it. Is something burning? Holy crap! Biden, you fucking dick! Fuck! Mmm, smells good. Oh, it's um, chicken curry with oven baked vegetables. Um, that's what it's supposed to be, so. <laughs> I didn't know you cooked, and it looks great. Unique texture. It's interesting. I'm, I'm glad you like it. So we've been working together now for what? What? Two years? I mean, almost nothing about you. There's nothing much to say. I grew up with my parents on the DPA campus, and then, and then Nathan looked after me. Well, he pretty much knows the rest. So. Parents, do you, uh, you still see them? No. No, I don't. I'm... I think they were just terrified.
terrified about how different I was. So, Nathan and Cole, uh, they, they... Yeah, did, did Nathan ever manage to explain to you why you have this link with Ivy? No. I mean, not really. I mean, they learned a lot of stuff about the infra world. Really not much about Iden. I mean, I, I don't think even he knows who or what he is. It's like, is he here now? Is he does? Yeah. Yeah, he never leaves me. Are you sure everything's okay? Yes, everything's fine. Aiden is just... He's just feeling a little nervous. It's okay, really. And are you, um... Are you married or anything? No, no. But, yes, I mean, I, I, I was. You know, my ex-wife and I have been separated for like, two years. And, uh... Yeah, I, I think there's something wrong with Aiden. Give me a second. I'm fed up with you and your goddamn jealousy. So why don't you just go back to whatever ethereal fucking place you came from and let me get on with my life? Get out of here! Do you fucking hear me? Get the fuck out! you. Anyone on your radar? I've got Aiden, so. I mean, anyone in our world. You know, Aiden kind of has always made people run away. Or, or maybe it's me. Maybe I'm just too odd for anyone to be interested in. You're special, Jody. Ian's got nothing to do with this. Jody, what's the matter? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's not um, it's not your fault. There's there's just there's some things that I can't forget. It's okay. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry. I better go.
Nathan, I'm so tired. Can we go now? Oh, jeez. Is that what time it is? <laughs> I'm sorry. I was concentrating on my work. I know you've had a long day. Hey, this morning I bought your book. What do you say we get you tucked in and I read to you? Yes, please. <laughs> I must have left it in the other room. Why don't you go in there and get it? I'll finish up here, and then we can go, OK? Sure, I'm on it. <laughs> so, where did he leave that book? Stop it, Aiden. It's not funny. Aiden? Uh, are you doing that, Aiden? You found it. Now we can get down to the serious business of bedtime stories. <laughs> Jody. Jody, you okay? You look pale. She looks dead tired is how she looks. Come on, Nathan, let's get her off to bed. Yes. Yes, hold on. Nathan, it's for you. Nathan Dawkins. Nathan? Nathan, what's up? My wife. Lord, they were coming back from my mother's. Truck. Drunk driver. Wrong side of the road. They're dead. Jody, let's get you off to bed. Nathan, stay right here. I'll be right back. Come on, Jody. Jamal Sheikh Sharif, one of the most dangerous warlords in the country. He commands a heavily armed militia, using it to control several important districts in the city, which means none of our humanitarian aid is getting through. You have to find Jamal and eliminate him. Now, he relocates twice a day. Last time we pinpointed him was at the Zanaki Hotel, which is right here. Not much of a chance he's still there, but it's as good a place as any to start looking. You'll be on your own this mission. No direct engagement with the enemy, no backup. 
You identify and eliminate your target, then activate your GPS beacon so we can extract you. We need to get you out before sunrise, so don't waste any time. Now, the last American soldier that was captured here was pulled through the city behind a jeep. And they found his head, one of his legs, in a fishing boat. I wouldn't recommend it. I'll be back before they even realize what's happened. Watch yourself out there, Jody. I don't want anything to happen to you. Don't worry. I won't be alone. No direct engagement with the enemy, no backup. Check that there are no soldiers around, Aiden. Have a look around. Last time we pinpointed him was at the Zanaki Hotel, which is right here. See if you find anything.
Great. Now let's go. Rid of them. This is an Aki Hotel. They've gone. A ruined cathedral. They're near a ruined cathedral. There's one not far from here. Should be easy to find. Here. Stop it, Mr. Cutthroat! 
سأبقوا رؤوسكم إلى الأسفل هيا اتبعوني Ten of them.
the cathedral. From where did I see it in my vision? They came here. did the job for me. Yeah. 
سحر ماشي من جديد روجلي لا ما عود أحس بالألام لا ما عود أحس بالألام ساحرة أنت ساحرة كيف يمكنك فعل ذلك؟ Sorry, I, I, I don't understand a word you're saying. Salim, Salim. Your name is Salim. Salim. Jody. I'm jo Jody. Jody? Yeah, yeah, Jody. Jody, Jody. Looks like we have some new friends. Ahtarisu, kabt takun musallaha. Gotta get closer. Get out of here before more show up. That's where I need to go. Astatiais taabukin chichi. Et taali. Et baini. What have I got to lose?
Get rid of him. without being noticed. Sleep. 
This is where we have to go our separate ways. I must go. Do you understand, Salim? La na trukuki. Yumkinuni al baka wila jani boki. Hasta ti umu sahada tuki. Sorry, but you can't come with me. You're really brave, Salim. Someday, this is all gonna be over. And you can just go back to being a kid. Look how then test your hayeji. Man answer Falik has a button. Jamal was around here somewhere. I don't have much time. Jamal's here. Okay, now find a place close to the house where they can take cover. You know what you have to do. Find your wall, I don't You're gonna have to do it again. <laughs> الجيش الموجود في الجبهة الشمالية أن ننقله إلى الجبهة الجنوبية لا تسمع كلامه يا جمال أرجوك لا تسمع كلامه لا يمكن أن تنقل الجيش وتترك منطقة الفارغة المتمردون لا ينتظرون سوى ذلك فلهذا يجب علينا أن نطارد حينما ونجعل توحيد البلاد أن سيد لا يوجد لنا أسلحة كفاية نسيتم ذلك
Find something else. We need a gun. to do it. Orders are orders. The guy's got blood on his hands. He deserves to die. Come on. I can do this. I can kill him. I can kill him. Confirm that Jamal is dead. Hurry! Salim? Abi! Abi! La! La tamucha, Abi! And Abi haja ilayka! La tatrugni! La tatrugni! He's your father? Ni maza fa'alchi zalek! Fakal tu anaki sajikachi! Oh, my God. 
Eagle Five, requesting immediate extraction. Do you read? Confirm extraction. Fuck. Fuck it. Fuck. Fuck. Ten years in the CIA. Never seen anything like it. Boss sends his own private helicopter to get an agent back. All the top brass are crazy about you, Jody. You and Aiden, of course. Jody, you okay? Listen, I know this one was tough, but it's over. I'm going home. Just another mission accomplished, right? I'll never forget what I saw back there, right? 
Never. How's your leg? Better when this painkiller kicks in. And the international community had just announced its official recognition of the election of the new president, Jamal Sheikh Sharif. Jamal Sheikh Sharif, one of the most dangerous warlords in the country. And now, sources report that he and all his government were assassinated in what appears to be an unclaimed attack. You have to find Jamal and eliminate him. Hopes were high that the newly recognized President Jamal Sharif would be able to put an end to the hostilities that have ravaged his country for many years. A number of world leaders have already expressed outrage at what appears to be nothing less than a cold-blooded execution. You have to find Jamal and eliminate him. You lied to me. What are you talking about? Jamal wasn't a warlord. He was the president. He was the democratically elected president. Your point? We're not politicians, we had our orders. You knew I wouldn't have murdered him. So you lied to me! Welcome to the CIA, Jody. It's not fucking choir practice in case you haven't noticed. Now, we had a job to do, and we did it. End of story. This might just be a fucking job to you, okay? But I don't go around killing people because some poor fucking star general tells me to. What's going on? Jody, listen, listen, you calm down. All right, we'll get back home and we'll talk about it, okay? You manipulated me. You used me to do your dirty work! What difference does it make, Jody? He was a dead man walking with or without you! I have blood on my hands! Some kid lost his father because of me! Because I trusted you! Because I trusted we were doing the right thing! What am I, me, Brian? A toy? Some fucking puppet that you can just do whatever you want with? We're getting massive turbulence! Fuck! I can't... I can't control it! Did you also lie to me that night in my apartment? Jody, for God's sake, you're gonna kill us. No one's ever gonna lie to me again, Ryan. Jody! Fuck! I'll kill them. 